Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel where we talk fashion and beauty for women over 30. If you're a woman over 30 and you enjoy fashion and beauty, subscribe and click the link down below to sign up for the email list and become a member of the crew. Today I decided since everybody is on quarantine, self-imposed quarantine, city shutdown quarantine, curfew quarantine, whatever you want to call it, that it would be nice to just go over some outfits without having to go out and buy new things. So most of the outfits you're going to see me style today are combinations of pieces that I've shown before or maybe haven't shown before but that I already had in my closet. So. I think a lot of times that's really important. Y'all know I talk a lot about versatility here on my channel and it's always good to know that you have multiple options with the pieces that you already own so that when you're out shopping, you can also incorporate some of those thoughts and ideas into the pieces you do decide to pick up. So our options right now are online shopping or styling what we got. So today I'm going to show you how to style what we got. The main focus of the outfits that I'm going to style for you today is going to be this denim A-line skirt. I showed this skirt in my last video, um, which I will link up here if you haven't checked it out. You can go over and check that video out. It's called Spring Outfits. And I got this skirt actually from New York and Company. I really love the fit of it. I like how much spandex it has and the stretch that it gives. It's a super comfortable skirt. Um, and it has a little bit of a slit in the front, so there's a little bit of style already kind of built into the piece. So everything I'm gonna show you today is basically gonna be built around this skirt with different tops, different shoes, different accessories accessories, just a bunch of different looks so that you get the idea of how you can take a piece and you can get multiple, multiple looks out of it, different vibes, the whole nine. So keep in mind, everything's going to be the skirt and then we're just going to add on and take away from. All right, this first look is going to be the skirt and the top I'm getting ready to show you. And then what I did was just switched out the shoes um, a couple different ways so that you can see some different styling options. I do always try to keep in mind that people are in different climates. So this is the top. Just a really cute sleeveless black top. I got this from Target um, a while back. Is this Target? Yeah, this is from Target a while back. It's, it's from the A New Day line. I will try to link it if they still sell this. If they don't, I will try to link, link something that's similar. It has an elastic band here at the neck and then it's just a simple kind of satin feel sleeveless top. It has a zip in the back so it's super comfortable. You can zip it up or down depending on how tight you want it to be around your neck. Super simple top tucked it into the denim skirt and now we're going to add all the pieces on. The first way I styled it is with some flats. You guys would not believe how many times I style things or do videos and people say how would it look with flats? What kind of flats would I put with it? I don't wear heels so these are just some simple cute flats. Very spring like. I have had these for some years now. I got these from Zara a while back. They just have a really big um, oversized bow here on the top and then they have like some cream and gold, some black and gold as well. And it's just a slide on sand, not sandal, just a slide on like, I don't know, flat um, kind of shoe. So they of course do not have these anymore at Zara. I will try to link something similar, but you don't have to duplicate everything that you see me do here to the exact T. You can just find something that's in the same vein as this and it's going to give you the same look. So I put these on with the denim skirt with the black top. And then just to give it a little bit more of something because it is a more of a simplistic look, I paired it with this box purse i got this from zara as well this was during one of their sales i want to say this was over a year ago so they don't have this anymore either but again i will link something similar everything's always going to be linked down below but this i just love this um design that it has here i think it's a real eye-catching piece and it has these like cream and gold tones to it so it's not just this stark white and black it does have some other colors to it which i like a lot and that plays really well with those sandals because they have that little bit of cream and kind of gold to them as well and this chain is like a really light um it's really perfectly in between silver and gold so it works either way and then the next look still the same top still the same bottoms bottom i guess the skirt <laughs> i just paired it with these shoes so these are just some zebra print sandals that have like a clear heel is this dirt what in the world is going on i don't know what's going on but just a clear strap which is pretty much trendy right now and then it has this really cute like black and white almost like zebra print across the toe and then everything else on the shoe is black so that's going to obviously play in with the top that we have on and then we're going to keep with the same purse because it looks really really good with those shoes so this same purse this box purse that has the black and kind of cream elements to it and because this has some cream in it you can pair it with the sandals like we just did 
but also because it kind of looks white when you first look at it we can get away with it with those shoes as well because those shoes are like a stark white and black but it still goes it's fine trust me it's fine so the same purse and then as you can see this is a completely different look the flats is very casual you throw on the bag just to give it a little bit of something but when you put those heels on with it it just gives it a different kind of vibe and adding that purse to it it just takes it up even a little bit more so it's a different kind of feel very same pieces now if you are somewhere where it's colder or you happen to be somewhere where it's a particularly particularly cooler spring day you can pair this with boots which is what I did for this last variation so the same skirt the black top and then on the bottom instead of going with something that's an open toe a sandal be it a flat or a heel I just went with this boot and it's like a thigh high suede boot with a uh, heel and it's got like a pointed toe but what I like about this boot is that it's really good for slouching like you can you can scrunch it down a lot um, and get that kind of scrunched boot look at the bottom that comes from underneath that skirt and then with the black top it's still very simplistic a very classic kind of look in my opinion but you just added a whole different vibe to it and a different element to the look by just pairing it with boots instead of a different type of shoe okay for this look we're going to go with something that is not sleeveless <laughs> so we're going to pair this with it's not really a denim shirt but it's kind of a denim shirt like it's the blue like a denim shirt but it's like more of a cotton blend so it, it doesn't it's not cut from a denim fabric but it has the same color as denim so we're going to put this with the skirt this is from banana republic it's just a button down blue top this is one of those looks where the pieces themselves are so simplistic that you might not think to put them together or you think it's not going to work but it does work so with this one you can you can do a couple things so first i'm just going to show it to you tied like in a knot in the front which is kind of trendy right now and you can just kind of play with the way the shirt falls and how you want it to fit over your waist but it's still just the top and the bottom with the skirt and then I just paired it with these brown heeled sandals these were also featured in the last video so this is the shoe just a heeled um, really simplistic sandal my hands are so crusty I've been washing my hands like you would not believe and lotion in them but it's not working so anyway you can wear it this way with just the top tied and put on those brown sandals it's gonna go perfectly that really kind of caramelly brown color looks very nice up against denim it also plays well with the blue um, tones of this shirt so you can do it that way that's one look if you want to jazz it up a little bit you can also play around with the top a little bit so you can take the top out of that knot you could just tuck it in if you wanted to and you can add this wide brown belt if you wanted to and you could wear it either way like you could wear it backwards so that it shows more of the wide part of the belt or you can wear it the way it's intended to be worn which is with this kind of gold buckle showing in the front both ways will work it just depends on what kind of look you're going for so you can add that to it and tuck the shirt in that's one look keep those same brown sandals or you can take the shirt out and have the shirt hit you on the skirt because you have it untucked and then you could just tie this belt around your waist and give yourself that kind of a look same shoes with both well really all three ways that you want to pair this the same brown shoes so basically you just got this blue top skirt and the brown shoes and then you could play around with this belt and how you tuck the shirt so it's going to give you a different look every different way you want to style it I don't know if the people not in the house and they supposed to be but the police are like going crazy they just keep rrr, 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 through my video okay the next top is very flirty very pretty very feminine um, which is also I think a look this summer it has a little bit of a puff sleeve which is definitely a trend but it's not anything that's exaggerated so it's this cream top here which I think I featured this one in my Zara haul video I'll link that one up here as well and let me tell y'all the funny thing about this when I wore the shirt the first time in the video I wore it backwards and didn't even realize the shirt was on backwards I had the thing tied in the front so I had it like this with the with the bow tie with the you know tie in the front with the bow in the front and I thought it was real cute so later on I'm looking on Zara's website and I see the shirt and I'm like this girl has the bow in the back I had the damn shirt on backwards the whole video so today I'm gonna show it to you <laughs> the right way with the bow in the back so just this shirt 
same skirt that we're going to be featuring the whole video remember and then i like the sleeves on this top because they have this elastic in it so you can wear the sleeves down but if you want to pull the sleeves up you definitely can because i think i mentioned this before but zara shirts be like weird sometimes they're always like not long and not short and not a three-quarter length it's just really a weird cut a lot of times where the shirt stops and i'm not by any means tall I don't have long limbs, so I know it's not that. It's just the cut of the shirts. So for me, this is one of those tops that is cut kind of funny. So I like to have it pulled up where I use the elastic to kind of keep it up. And then this little bit of like um, ruffle kind of scalloped detail here can just fall and hit me like a three quarter length shirt would normally hit. See, y'all hear the police? If y'all not in the house and you supposed to be in the house, go in the house. Jeez, I can't even film. Listen to the police, y'all. The prisoners must have escaped. Or the police board. Because <laughs> the people are in the house. <laughs> anyway, on the bottom, I wanted to spice it up a little bit. But I still wanted to keep this really classy and pretty. Because I think it's a very feminine flirty pretty kind of look so I didn't want to do anything like try to make it edgy so on the bottom I just added this snake skin print shoe this is a platform heel I showed this one also in the last video or the one prior and it just has a really pretty print to it it has like a chocolate print and then a lot of like creams um, show through in this shoe so I think it pairs really well with that shirt um, which has a lot of cream in it has a lot of cream the whole shirt is cream so it pairs really well with that top <laughs> But I think this is really pretty on the bottom. And then I'm going to pair it with a bag that, of course, you guys have seen before as well. But remember, the point of this video is to just show you that there's versatility even within your own wardrobe with the pieces you already own. So this bag is from Zara. And it's this little really cute circle bag here. And it has the same kind of snake print, snake skin print to it. The same kind of cream tones. Y'all, look how ashy my hand is. Lord. The same kind of cream tones, <laughs> the same cream tones, but it's really, really pretty. And I think it pairs well up against that denim. And then especially with the shoe, which kind of ties it all together. And I don't think it's too matchy matchy. I think it's just enough of the pop of this and the snake skin on the shoe. And I think it still looks really pretty. Okay, we are going to take it a little bit casual, but then we're gonna spice it up. <laughs> so this is the New York t-shirt also was featured in my last video and this t-shirt I'm still really amazed at the quality this came from forever 21 but this is a nice nice t-shirt um it's like real thick this is a really nice shirt so if you have a chance to go grab it I, I would say go pick this shirt up and this comes in plus size as well I'll link them both below I think in my last video I linked them as well I'll link both the regular size and the plus size below because this is a good shirt and it's super cute so it has this like black velvet graphic um, print on it where it just says New York but it's going to be going vertically instead of horizontally which is kind of what we're accustomed to so I like that a lot it just makes the shirt not so plain um, and I just paired it again same skirt so what we're going to do the, to jazz this up a little bit is we're going to play around with the shoes and with this top I do want to add one thing you can tuck it however you would like so you can just tuck it in like traditionally tuck it in which is fine because the shirt is wide enough and boxy enough that that will work if you don't like how boxy it is you can definitely tie it up in the back or tie it up in the front you can use a rubber band you can use a headband I mean not a headband a scrunchie whatever you'd like or you could just knot it so you can definitely do that to, to kind of cinch in the waist a little or not even just to cinch in the waist but just to give the shirt some shape because like I said it is like a boxy cut so you can do any of those things that you would like to do if you want you can also tuck it underneath your bra and make it look like a crop top and you can do that without having any of your stomach actually showing it just gives the shirt a different shape so tuck it however you like and then on the bottom I added these boots why because it's fun and this is fashion honey make it a plain denim skirt I mean what's the saying a plain denim skirt but make it fashion or whatever the hell they be saying so I love this chocolate boot it came from Zara I snagged it on sale y'all the boot is still on sale on Zara's website so I will link it below as well if you want to grab the boot I would say grab it it is super comfortable so the heel is not too high and it's not too low 
and it's like a boxy heel so it's really stable this is a comfortable boot i like the way the toe is shaped everything this is a really really nice comfortable boot the length of it is perfect the fit of it is perfect it doesn't squeeze nothing like that it's real easy to get into and get out of it has a little zip down here so this is a good boot okay for practical purposes as well as fashionable ones and this chocolate black the whole print of the boot it's kind of flashy and I like that up against the really simplistic plain white t-shirt with just a simple black print on it. This is really really cute and when you put this with a pair of, I shouldn't say a pair, but when you put this up against denim and the wash that this skirt is in, it looks really really good. So on the top you've got that kind of simplistic white and black with just a denim skirt and then when you get down to the bottom it's like oh boom that's real cute. So I just added these boots with it. I think it's really really cute it's a really stylish look but it's one of those looks that's stylish but super simple okay this top is very dramatical but it's very much on trend i've been seeing this style top literally everywhere and i love it so much because like i said it gives you drama but it's easy it's just one piece you just throw it on bam instant drama so this is the top it's got the puff sleeve which is really trendy right now real cute puff sleeves and then it's got this little bit of detailing here at the waist so again drama detailing here at the waist and then it has this like penguin tail can you focus so this thing this is the front like this these are the two panels y'all will see when I put it on but it's long 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 very James Brown and the cape dramatical very 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 dramatical but I love it and the deepness of this kind of burgundy ox blood whatever you want to call it color pairs really well with that denim I like this a lot and even though this is a rich color it's still very springtime appropriate just because of the cut of the shirt and for the shoe I went with an old faithful and this is just a clear heel always gonna work it's super clear you don't have to worry about it this was also in my last video um, if you didn't see it you will see let me talk about this shoe over there but everything else is very dramatical you know dramatic top long denim skirt with a slit so I wanted to just kind of not go too much overboard with the shoe so that's why I kept it to this clear shoe and then to just still add a little bit more to it because I think this is a very pretty kind of like outdoorsy look so you know like brunch or like going to meet with friends and eat after church that kind of like a daytime outing type of look I did want to add a bag to it that's more practical not just cute and like a little box bag but something that's more practical so I added this bag which is the very um, Chanel-esque quilted bag it's obviously not a Chanel it's just inspired by and it has the gold detailing here on the chain which I think is really pretty and you can obviously always play that up with the earrings that you choose but yeah just went with this bag really 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 pretty look alright so y'all know I had to have one look in here that was like so the top that I'm wearing which I love a lot very very easy throw on real simple top this is just real lightweight real simple but I like this kind of linked I think these are like links print in this is really pretty I also like the gold and how it pairs really easily with gold jewelry and because it has this like navy um, base color to it it looks really good with the denim skirt so this is a real cute top love it pairs super easily with it and then on the bottom I did want to continue to play up the kind of gold elements in this look so I added this bold gold platform heel this is the shoe I show this as well in a prior video but I like this shoe so much it's just such a statement piece I love this like faux kind of croc print that it has and the heel that's triangular which I showed in the last video as well I really do like that and it's a platform so y'all know I'm super short so the platform is going to give me height without discomfort because platforms are just easier to walk in just by the way they're designed so I really really like this a lot if you're not comfortable with a shoe that's this bold you can easily choose one of the prior looks and go with something that's a little easier to pull off or you can just choose a different style of a gold shoe it doesn't have to be a shoe 
that's a platform and that's bright gold you know what i mean like you can you can play up the elements of it without duplicating everything exactly and this shirt i do also like the fact that it's a bodysuit so you don't have to fuss with it it's not gonna move once you put it on and put the skirt on you're good to go you don't have to keep retucking nothing like that now as we all know skirts and um i mean bodysuits and jumpsuits are always a good idea until you're in public and you gotta pee I can't do nothing about that. You just, you gotta have to make a life decision. Am I gonna wear this and then have to struggle in the bathroom? Or am I gonna wear this and really like not drink nothing so I don't have to be in the bathroom? Or I'm gonna just choose a different top so I can pee in comfort in public? It's just up to you. The choice is yours. For those of you who may ask, I'm gonna start trying to incorporate these little segments into my videos. So I'm gonna tell you what I got on my face. I got my regular foundation, all that stuff on. I used Chanel. And I use um, Armani, no, no. I use Armani, Giorgio Armani um, foundation, liquid foundation, and I use YSL Longwear foundation. So a combination of those two. And then I use Laura Mercier setting powders in medium and translucent. That's what's on my face. I use Kat Von D concealer under my eye, okay? So that's like the foundation. And then I use Becca Bronzer and MAC Blunt to contour, okay. For the eyes, I used this palette, which is the Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was dying my hair, so it got a little, it got a little Dalmatian mark, but it's all good. So this is the palette that I use on my eyes today. Um, I'm not gonna go into super detail. On my lips, I get a lot of question about my lips, like what lip color I'm wearing. It's never a lip color, so I have chestnut lip liner I have cork lip liner and then I have pink plaid by Mac lipstick and then I have touch listen to the police who are y'all looking for then I have touch lipstick by Mac on and then I have Fenty's lip gloss on and what is this Fenty glow it's this color so this one and then on top of that, I have another gloss, which is, ooh, I think this is, oh no, this is Neat Freak by ColourPop. This was the collab that Makeup Shayla did with them. I absolutely love this. I have like two or three of these. And as you can see, it's all, this one's all the way down to here because I use this pretty much daily. That's how I get this lip color. It's like six different things going on on my lips. And if y'all want a tutorial, I will think about doing a quick tutorial and then the lashes is just some beauty supply store lashes that I got but these are real good I like these uh what else smolder I use for the eyeliner and then I use like the NYX liquid liner on top to get a little bit of this cat eye that I got going on here and I use my MAC mineralized skin finish all over my face so that's what I have on today in case anybody was wondering because I do get questions about it and people feel like I'm being rude and ignoring them because I don't address it but I'm not a makeup channel but I wanted to throw that in here today okay peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video and that you got some inspiration from these outfit ideas remember to subscribe click the link down below as well to join the email list and become a member of the crew also join us on every Sunday at 6 p.m. where we go live on this channel remember to live well and look good doing it and until next time y'all bye